guys, Jason with Huck Outdoors here, and today we are up at Little Lakes Valley. We're actually at the Mosquito Flats trailhead right now, as you can see, tons of cars parked out here, but they only issue, I believe it's 15, like permits to go overnight and another 10 self-issue during the day, for the day, for overnight permits. It's a total of 25 people that can camp overnight up here. The day use is unlimited. But we're gonna go up to Little Lakes Valley, spend two days up there, fish a lot of different lakes, hit up some cool areas to hike, maybe Morgan Pass, Ruby Lake, Jim Lakes, Treasure Lakes as well. There's tons of lakes back there. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So come along on the adventure. Here we go, guys. We're gonna be Little Lakes Valley Trailheads, where we're at. We're right here. They started off here. You got Mac Lake, then you go to Heart, Box, Long, Chicken Foot. We might go up to Jim Lakes, Treasure Lakes, maybe the lower upper Morgan Lakes through Morgan Pass or come up to Mono Pass and hit Ruby Lake. Got lots of time. And here's just the fish distribution. So anything purple has Brooks Brands and Rainbows like Mac Lake, Heart Lake, Lost Lake, Long Lake. Uh, Chicken Foot Lake is Brooks and Rainbows. Ruby Lake is just Brooks. And if you come down the Treasure Lakes, you see how it's gold? That's Golden Trout. So that's the only trout lakes in this area that have Golden Trout. So hopefully we might get into those, we'll see. Here you go. I'll show you the trail going up right here. You guys can see the crew behind me. Got Monica and Diamond. Got David. And also got Bill back there. The solo backpacker. Off we go. Right over here is a marsh lake. That is full of brook trout. And then there's a trail. They're all going up right there. Diamond at the end, making sure nothing comes up behind. Here we are, Box Lake, 10,620 feet on my GPS. That is Box Lake down there, guys. Beautiful. Lots of fish in there. But we're gonna be going up to the right up in there, to Long Lake, and then Chicken Foot Lake is back up over that way. And then Morgan Pass is right, right in there. So that's where we'll be going. There you go guys, look at that, beautiful. Okay guys, we are at Long Lake now. You can see the fish are jumping right there. And this is at 10,650 something feet. We're gonna go up there and to the left to Chicken Foot. But it looks like uh, somebody's already got his fishing pole out over there. He cannot wait any longer. Got Bill up there, he's already fishing. It's a beautiful lake, guys. There's a lot of people on this trail that are doing day hikes, but overnight. It's a total of 25 people back here that they allow. It's uh, 15 advanced reserved and 10, like, they had to pick up the day of. That's only 25 back here, no more, no less. There's a view of the outlet. Just beautiful out here, guys. Can't beat it. Not one bit. Bill's got the pole out on this side. Look who's fishing over here. Monica! 
Yeah, she's throwing a Sierra Slammer jig out there. Beautiful. Annika with the first fish. <laughs> she drew first fish. I'm so excited. Yes. Sierra Slammer. Ooh, a brook. She's got a little brook trout. A Sierra Slammer. I love it. Look, Diamond. That is cool. Another one. Oh, look at the colors on that one. That's a decent one. Look at the colors on that brook. Look at that, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, Look colors. at him. He's so orange. Pressure is on for Monica. She just threw out a cast. We're going to see if we can get a fish on here. You guys can see that rod tip bouncing. Tossing a 132nd ounce uh, jig. I call it the row pattern. I think CR Slammers calls it their matchstick, maybe. That's one of my favorite colors. Served me well throughout the years. Ooh, and she's got one. Fish on. Look at that, guys. Fish on. Three. Uh, brook trout. Uh, not dinner yet. We'll yeah. hopefully do that up a chicken foot. <laughs> bigger than the last. Woo. Three. Number three. Just as I started to film this, the thunder cracked. Missed it. But uh, you guys can see behind me, on the other side of Long Lake, by Mono Pass, there's some thunderstorms coming in. Doesn't look as bad going towards uh, Morgan Pass, but yeah, there's gonna be some storms coming through. We are going up towards Chicken Foot Lake now, and that's gonna be our base camp. Should be a nice little lake. It's uh, a little bit further in than the rest of the lakes and you don't get as many people there I think it's closer to almost 11,000 doesn't feel like it out here at all look at this beautiful guys just beautiful and behind me that's Long Lake so I'm going to show you guys our first view of Chicken Foot Lake right over there you got the creek that's flowing into it, which looks awesome. We're going around on the trail. You see the rest of the group right there. And there's Chicken Foot Lake. So beautiful. So beautiful. Now we just got to find a place to camp for the night. We'll be fine. on that brook. Oh. Not as good as your colors. So here's my tent guys, the REI Quarter Dome 1. And look right out the front here. <laughs> look at that view. <laughs> Amazing. We got uh, David's Lunar Solo. Bill's uh, Bear Paw Design. It's up a little bit higher, and then behind all them is Monica's uh, Lunar Solo as well. Look at the view that she gets to come out of. Look at that. So, there's her tent. Look at that view. This one here is Bill, the Solo Backpackers. And what is this model? 
Uh, it's uh, based on the Lunar Solo, but it's a, a taller version without the perimeter netting. I, I call it the Winter Solo. Huh. And it goes up to how high? 5.7? It goes up to about 5.7. Look at I that. I got it kind of modified here. In Look at that room right. he's got. As you guys can see, there's still snow up here. Able to keep stuff cold if we need to. Monica's view right here is just amazing. To a fork in the road that way goes up to Morgan Pass, Morgan Lakes, down to Pine Creek. This way, we're going to Jim Lake of the lakes. Beautiful out here. Got a group ahead of me Monica Diamond, David, and Bill. Look at that view we got amazing. I highly recommend this trail to anyone out there that wants to do it. Do it as a day hike and backpack in. Doesn't matter. If you do a day hike, you don't need permits. If you're backpacking overnight, you do need permits. So, we're gonna get up here and do some fishing. Hopefully some catching too. Our first view of Jim Lakes. There's more up that way. This is the lower one here. We're gonna go towards the upper ones. guys one of the gym lakes up here it's beautiful Bill's already fishing we start fishing a few the water is blue I see fish rising doesn't get better than this not at all not at all Look at that that's freaking amazing across the way I can see where the water's coming in nice amazing guys Fish are a little small in Jim Lakes, but look at that color. That's a beautiful brook trout. Kind of Sierra Slammer again. Another brook. David here has a brook, and it's on a jig. First fish on a jig, right? It is, yeah. Look at that. Look at the colors, guys. Another brook. Look at this lake. One of the gym lakes up here. And not a soul around. We're the only ones up here. We got Monica, me, David behind us. And this little one. And uh, Bill's somewhere over there. I don't know if he's here at this lake still or if he moved down to one of the smaller lakes down below. You can hear the water leaving over there. All that snow melt. So cool to see. Clouds are coming in. Not as bad as yesterday though. Oh, well, we're leaving Jim Lakes now. Everybody's just set up there putting on some extra layers. Start of the rain as you guys can see. Water out there, a little choppy. So I put the pack cover on, put my rain jacket on. 
We're gonna head back, back to Chickenfoot. Got back from Jim Lakes, came down to our campsite and started to do a little bit of fishing again. Caught us some dinner. Look at that, guys. Pretty fish. Look at all those fish. It's gonna be dinner tonight, some brooks, some rainbows. Micah's chopping up some fresh veggies. David's on the rice. We're gonna fry up some fresh trout. Awesome. We got Bill the Solo Backpacker here. Monica behind the camera. Diamond hidden underneath all the sleeping bag and her little sleeping bag. <laughs> David on the veggies. And I've got the fish right here. And look at all this. Amazing out here. Can't beat it. Not one bit. These trout right here were caught less than an hour ago out of this lake over here, which is Chickenfoot Lake. We are stopping here at Box Lake on our way back. Just wanted to show you guys a few of the lake again and then uh, show you guys. There's some lake up there. I'm not too sure if that holds trout. But then above, just right over here, Long Lake's to the right. And right as you get into Long Lake, right at the inlet, there's a little trail that goes up. And there's two lakes up there. Little little fish lake and big fish lake. And just right, right in there. So those have uh, brooks and browns, I believe. But once again, the view you're looking at is Box Lake. Well guys, that was Low Lakes Valley. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been a great time up here. The trail is relatively easy to go, not too much high or low elevation gain. I think you gain like 300, 400 feet throughout. You start over 10,000 feet, but it's well worth it. If you ever get a chance come on out there's fish in every lake it's a fisherman's dream up here so come on out enjoy little lakes valley guys you'll you'll be amazed out here by the views so thanks for watching guys if you like the video hit like comment below if you're not a subscriber subscribe until next time we'll see you on the next adventure you guys can see behind me the clouds are starting to come up hey and as you guys can see, I don't know about this scenery out here. It's just okay. Just okay. We have a showdown. The regulators versus that group over there. Who budges first? I think they budge first.